Hello everybody, I'm your CAD course teacher and today's video will be going over on how to make a coffee mug. So as you know Mother's Day is coming up so we could also make a coffee mug which says Happy Mother's Day or whatever you want or like. So this is what the coffee mug will look like. Before that we have to go over a couple of new tools. These tools are the ellipse tool and the offset plane tool. So let's start off with the ellipse tool. So over here, you'll see my uh, mouse highlighted. It's you press create sketch, choose plane, and then you go to create. And over here, there's an ellipse tool. Ellipse tools basically gives you an oval padded shape or something. It's basically like the circle tool, but different from a circle. So, you choose that. And, and you see, the ellipse tool is kind of weird, because if I, I chose this point here, then I chose this point here. But, there's also, there's also a different point all the way here where my arrow is. So, when you're doing that, I'm just going to show that to you again. It's kind of confusing the ellipse tool, but I'll show that to you again. Choose this point, and from that point, there's a line going upwards and a line going downwards, even though I'm dragging my mouse down. So you have to look out for the line going upwards. That is the first point, and this, this point you chose is a center point, basically. So look out for that, and... You made an ellipse. So, pause the video, try that, make something like this. I hope you tried it. Now let's get to the next part, which is offset plane. So, basically, like we all know, this right here, this is a plane. Where my arrow is, where you see this is all a plane. This is a surface. On where we make our sketches, our drawings, surface on where all of our 3D models go. So, so we only have three surfaces that's given that are given to us. But what if we want a different surface? What if we want a surface slightly at a different angle? So when we'll get to the coffee mug, then you'll kinda understand what I'm talking about. But for now, so you see my arrow here? Go to construct. And the first one that says offset plane. You can also see the description. Let me just show you the description. Creates a construction plane that is offset from the selected face or plane. And you can either select a face or plane and it and it'll give you a plane at a different angle. I'll just show you that. It's kind of confusing at first. So this is a plane. What what if I want this plane to be somewhere here? where my arrow is. So I'll just show you that. You can do this. Create a new plane and now it's where my arrow is. So instead of your sketch being on this, it will be on this. That's basically what it is. So try that and make a make an ellipse on it. So I'll also show you I'll before that I'll show you show that to you again. Okay. Construct offset plane. You want you want it somewhere here? You can drag it backwards or front. Press OK. And then I'll just draw an ellipse on it. So you can select this and create it's an ellipse. Something like this. Yep, finish sketch. So that's what it is. I want you to pause the video and try it yourself. Okay. So I hope you tried it. And now let's get to the real part, which is making this coffee mug. So we've already went over how to make holes and um, the torus, uh, the fillet tool, and the torus tool. So we d actually don't use the torus tool. We're actually using the ellipse tool and the offset plane tool. So, so to start off, we go to create. See my arrow? It's kind of highlighted over here. 
press create and cylinder so we're making a coffee mug I'll choose this base plane as we're making a coffee mug millimeters the diameter should be about 80 that's your diameter and the height should be 95 new component press OK so this is basically your cup this is, this is your whole skeleton the chassis of your cup and now what I want to do is make the handle so th that's where the ellipse tool comes in what we would be doing is we would make and we would draw an ellipse shape here and draw a handle I'll just show that to you so create sketch we want so this is where the offset plane comes in action we want the ellipse tool yeah some somewhere here right S on this kind of plane exactly on the middle the center of this so that's why we now go to construct when I click it you can see the my highlighted arrow offset plane and this plane here I can bring it to the middle this is kind now you can see it's kind of in the middle the cup handle is always on the middle of the cup so this is kind of the middle and press OK now that's a plane made huh. so now we can create sketch and choose this plane here this one and go to create and choose the ellipse tool so your center point should be somewhere here or zoom in the middle and do something like this now you see there's a cup being made there's, you can see kind of a handle type texture or handle type shape but what I did was incorrect because it's too far apart from the cup so let's try that again so I don't want it to be too far from the cup you have to imitate exactly what I'm doing here. so it has to be somewhere near the middle here somewhere over here yeah now you see it's kind of perfect you can make it however wide you would like it to be and that's one we also have to make another one so you can actually use extrude for it to so create ellipse same center somewhere here and it has to be something like this it has to be something like this so if you get something like this you can press finish sketch so now I did this I'm at this point pause the video look back look at what I did understand the offset plane tool the and the ellipse tool and come uh, do this this texture over here this handle type texture okay pause the video I hope you tried it out and you got something like this if not try it again look at the video again and again see where my arrow goes and then you'll understand it for sure okay this the this, this software this industry about CAD is all about trial and error so I hope you make a mistake so you can actually learn from it and now we have to make this into a solid so now you see this is exactly in the middle so to make a solid of course we use extrude either press E I, I prefer you press E for extrude or you can press this or you go to create extrude so as you as it's in the middle you want to be a solid it has to be double sided it has to come from two sides so let's try 10 let's try five on this side five on this side that may be too thick for you so I'll do 2.5 on this side and on this side 2.5 
I guess that is perfect. And operation, it cannot be cut because it's just going to cut it through. Operation should be join. So when you press join and press OK, look, now you have a handle type texture. Looks pretty good, right? So pause the video. Try that extrude thing. It has to be double sided from one side 2.5 millimeters and the other side 2.5 millimeters or whatever unit you have. Just do 2.5. So I hope you tried it. Now let's get to the part of making the hole. So we create sketch and our plane is this. It's it's the face because we want to create a hole in this so we want the circle to be over here. So set our diameter circle, zoom in and when you zoom in, tr yeah, try to look for this uh try try to look for this blue circle that's already made. That means you're at the exact center. Cuz you're creating a center diameter circle. And now drag this and see how much of a hole you want. Uh, I prefer this much. It's up to you. Okay. Once you're done, press finish sketch. Then click this part. Either click E or you can go here create extrude. So as we've discussed before, when when you see red, red means it's gonna cut. Operation comes comes out as cut. So, we as the distance, because when you put in negative, it's going the other way. So, operation cut, right? So, distance, I would like it to be minus, oh, that happens sometimes. Distance, because it's 90 tall, uh, 95 tall, let's try 90 deep. Minus 90 deep. Once you're done and you like it, press OK. Okay. So I want you to try what I just did. Pause the video and try it. Well, so I hope you can get to this part. If you, if not, again, look at the video again and again. Understand what's going on. Because this is all about trial and error. So, you have a coffee mug. You can't really drink out of this. Because, well, you know, there's sharp edges. So... We want to have, give it a curvature path or give it curves basically. So we use the fillet tool. We've discussed about the fillet tool before. And go to modify, right? And either press F or fillet. And let's give the handles curves. So so select these edges, zoom in and select these edges, kind of makes a rectangle here. These edges. Yeah, select these edges and press 2.5. See what it does? It gives it kind of like a support, looks realistic. That's what you want to do. 2.5 here, press OK. Now let's do the same for the bottom side. Fill it. This, this, uh, cancel F. This edge. See, your edge is being highlighted over here. So you click that. That. That and 2.5. So I think we forgot to select something. Let's try that again. That may happen to you. That's why I'm just going to show it. If that if it gives you an error, just do it again. Okay. To this point. And negative 2.5. Okay. Oh, not negative. Negative doesn't work. Hmm. So it's giving me an error here. So I found out the mistake I made. 
the mistake was that when I made the el ellipse, the space between here and here was too less. So I can't really make that kind of texture or that support. So make sure you don't do that. And now you have to redo it. So uh, just pause the video and try doing the fillet thing for both sides. And I'll just come up with another design. So now I'm at the part and I've redid everything. So again, this mistake here, show it to you again. Ellipse. Excuse me, how to solve this mistake. So find somewhere in the middle. Yes. And don't make it too high. Make the distance about 70. Otherwise, it's just going to mess with the support. You make it like this. And if to make another ellipse, same center. Just like that. And now you can press finish sketch. So this is what I want you to do. It, it shouldn't cross this line basically or this line. Otherwise it just doesn't work out. Okay, now we're at this part. Let me show you the fillet thing again. So the edges, now there's nothing interfering with it. So this would happen for sure. So look, even now I'm learning because I made a mistake, so I probably won't repeat it. Oops. If it selects the whole thing, just redo it. It happens sometimes if you misclick something. And usually just zoom in so you can get a better visual. Okay, and now try 2.5. Press OK. Same thing here. F for fill it. This, this. Point five. Now it works out. Okay. So just look at look at what mistakes I made. You probably probably made the same mistakes. That's okay. We're learning. Both uh, both of us are learning, and that's that's good. So just make sure everything looks like this. Pause the video. Redo it. Whatever. It's okay if it takes time. I want it to take time so you have practice. Just pause the video. Try everything again. So I hope you tried everything, all of this. So let's get to the next part, which is if I want to fill it, this handle, make make it more curvy, I guess. So oh, so usually select the edges, select that edge, make it. So mess with it first. See what's best for you. I feel like this is best for me. And it's at 2.5. So 2.5 is working. Okay. And you do the same thing on the for the bottom edges. F. 2.5. So I'm getting an error. That means 2.5 is too much. So why would I get an error? It's basically because when I chose this, when I chose this to curve it, this this was also part of it. So now you can't curve this too. So that's why I can't curve the bottom one, just only do the top one. So now you get that. That looks great. Pause the video, try it. Okay, I hope you tried it out. So if you're done with this part, let's move on to the part for f for filleting this. Give it, give this because sharp edges, you know, can't drink out of a, a coffee mug with sharp edges. So I'm gonna press F and select this edge and see what works best for me. Two point five again. Two point five is like kind of the magic number here. So now it doesn't have a sharp edge, and there's the outside edge. Try that. 
Oh, well, that, that goes way down there. So try start off with 1.1. 1. 1. Don't see a difference, 0. 0.2. Don't see a difference, 0. 0.3. It's all try and error. Trial and error, 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5. And now I see some kind of difference in these edges. I can press OK. The outside edge is not that important, but the one on the inside is. So now your coffee mug is ready. So oh, now your coffee mug's ready. This was this was the final coffee mug, right? What is what is the other one missing? The color and the text. So let's get to that. But before I pause the video, try this edge thing, this edge uh, curve. Okay, I hope you tried it. Let's get to the next part. How do we add text? That's simple. Where do we first? You have to see where you want the text. So I guess I want to add text over here, and based on that, I can make an offset plane. So. You can't choose a cil cylinder as a plane because, of course, it's a cylinder. So you have to make an offset plane. This plane here should be kind of right where the cylinder is at. So I'm going to choose this. You see? Right where the cylinder is at. Exactly. So mess with the length. Have it kind of touching the cylinder. Look, it's not touching it. So 40, 43 is too less. 40. Let's try 46, 46 point, let's try 46, yeah. So I guess 46 is the best because, no, you know what, let's go 45, yeah. 45 is the best because it's touching the cylinder exactly. Now you can press OK. So choose the darker plane, or because that's part of this, or whichever one lets you choose. So. Try that. Yeah, I hope you tried it. Create now we go to create sketch and choose this plane. This is basically like it's on the coffee mug, you can say. And now we put text. So text is you go to create. You can see my arrow, uh, a red color near the arrow. And over here there's an option called text. So I'm just going to make it simple. If you're doing this for Mother's Day, then up here, click it. And what's my text? I'll go happy first. So this is upside down, then you could, so horizontal flip. No, vertical flip, because it's upside down. You can move it. You could change the font size. You could change, there's a lot of fonts you can choose from. I'm just going to show you Arial, but you can mess with the fonts if you're, or uh, if you want to show this to your mom. Okay. Now I just put happy. Uh, so the way I'm doing it is something like this. Happy Mother's Day. You could you could do it how, however. You could have happy mothers and then day at the end. Or have however you want it. So if you want to start a new line, you have to start a new text. So create text somewhere here first it, it could be wherever you want it at first and then you could change the uh, direction and angle so right mother flip horizontal flip and a vertical flip if it's coming like this you can use this to move it okay be mothers let's try the same thing again because uh, we have to do day over here text so if you didn't know over here the right corner over to the right you can see my arrow too or my cursor that's where you write the text you can get all the fonts and flip so day if it's coming like this press both of these so you can flick it Okay. Once it's done, you get something like this. 
So try all of that. You can do it however you want. I think you can only get into blue color for now, but then you, you could then I'll show you how I can change the text color later. So for now, just do this. Pause the video, try it. Okay, so I hope you did what you wanted to do. Now, let's get to the part where you, what color the whole cup. So this cup is a component. Hopefully you made it into component. If it's a body, then you could, you could go to the body section, right click, make it into component. So you right click this component. Because it's the only component, hopefully. And you see appearance. Click appearance. Over here, you can you can get a bunch of uh, kind of colors. So I did. So there are many different colors. So these are types of colors. Liquid gives you kind of a dark color. Um, there's a. Uh, glass color somewhere yeah glass glass is kind of transparent so different shades of colors so i'll just show you i'll show you glass look there's, there's a bunch of stuff so what i'm just gonna do is i'm just gonna choose granite because granite gives you that ca camouflage color just like over here so do that again appearance Choose anything that's granite. And you can also download a bunch of colors if it's free. Sometimes they're not free. You can do this. So you what you do is you drag this in here. You drag it into here. Look, you have to drag this into your uh, design. That's one. I'll show you another one. Maybe you want red. Oh, oops. Maybe you want red. And I can just acrylic. A acrylic is also kind of transparent. Aluminum. Red. Yeah, if remove appearance applies to bodies, yeah, you remove it. You get something like this. I prefer this one because it just looks better. But you can, you can. Uh, search for colors, look, mess around with it. That's up to you, however you want. So, pause the video. This might take l a lot of time because it's you have to select all the colors and everything. Pause the video and try it. Okay, I hope you got to this point. This is how you make a cup. So, Usually people would 3D print this, but I'm pretty sure none of you have a 3D printer at home. I don't, right? You could 3D print it. There's a lot of other things to it. I'm, I can't teach that because I don't have a 3D printer, right? So again, what CAD is, what CAD all is about is this, you can bring it to real life either by 3D printing or somebody can actually manufacture it. So there's a lot, a lot of ways to bring this into life. And that's what CAD is all about. A design. And sooner or later, this will be brought into actual life. So I hope you learned something today in this video. I hope your mothers enjoyed this gift or will enjoy this gift. And thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe because you'll be notified with further uh, Fusion 360 videos. And I hope you have a nice day.